In today's video, I gotta take something back to the UPS store. I think after that, I'm gonna go to this preserve. It's called Bald Rock. It's about an hour from my house, but it has amazing views of the entire, like, upstate of South Carolina. But before we go, I, um, I have to eat, and also I wanna show you guys something. So if you guys watched uh, last week's video, I um, I ordered a attachment for my uh, tripod, and I thought I ordered the right size um, ball head for the tripod, but it turned out to be two sizes big. This is what I ordered right here. It's the uh, Joby 3K ball head. It would work with my tripod, but my tripod head has a quarter and a twenty of an inch, you know, uh, tripod mount, and this just has a uh, just a quarter, so it's just like that much smaller, which sucks because this is like a really nice quality ball head. I got it for like thirty dollars, but I'm gonna take that back to the DPS store, ship it out, and get my money back. We will head to Bald Rock. I'm gonna go get something to eat. I guess we'll be heading to the DPS store. Okay, that's all I'm worried about. Yeah, me too. I kind of want to drive out We're there and up. see. But I feel like EMS is going to tell us to leave. Oh, Ben is calling me. I want to hear this. Okay. Holy cow. Cars totaled. I'm not going to get my car now. I'd rather that it be safe, but God, that's, that sucks, dude. That does suck. Oh my gosh. My brother got into a car wreck on 385. He's okay, but the car is totaled. I'm going to call Jacob and tell him what happened. Let me know when you're leaving. Okay. My brother got into a car wreck going to uh, his girlfriend's house. That really sucks. He's okay. At the car is done. The car is apparently done. I don't know if it's actually done. I'm gonna finish this and um, head to the UP store. He's actually right next to the um, highway, which he crashed on. We might be able to go over there, but again, I don't want to get in the, get in the way of EMS because they're out there doing their jobs, making sure everybody's okay. Is he okay? <laughs> You're going to see the traffic. You're going to have to put on your emergency flashers and just drive down the median. That's what I had to do to get to him. Is, is, he, is he okay? That's the question. Yes, he's fine. He's a little shook up. He's, he's a little shook up? He's, he's lucky. He's airbag deployed. Poor bubs. I'm just glad he's okay. The only reason I found out is because I saw the text on Life360. <laughs> Scary stuff, guys. But the good thing is, is he's okay. He's just a little shooken up. Alright guys, so we actually couldn't go to the scene because apparently there was too much traffic, which is understandable. So we're at the uh, UPS store, I'm going to drop off my package and uh, I guess head back home. Hey. Um, I'd like to return this. Yes, it. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> kind of bummed out that we didn't get to go see the accident, but from what I saw on FaceTime, I'd say the car is done. I just got back home. I'm starving, guys. I'm gonna probably reheat my uh, reheat the meal that I made. Take a shower because I feel absolutely disgusting. I just wanted to give you guys a little update about what all just happened. When I was making my uh, my lunch, those uh, little chicken patties, I got a text on my phone from Life360 saying that my brother had a sudden stop. I'm like, okay, he probably just braked hard. Then my brother upstairs calls him and he tells me that he was in an accident. I'm like, okay, well, 
is he alive? He goes, yeah, he's alive. I'm like, okay, that's good. When we were coming back home, he did FaceTime us, and the car is done. <laughs> like, just from what I saw, the hood, the hood's done, the bumper's gone, and uh, the left front tire, she's, she's done too. But yeah, I just want to update you guys in a more reasonable fashion. So, um, I'm starving. My chicken patties are out there on the table, cold as ice. Kind of left in a hurry. So, I'm going to go eat that, and then we'll see what happens afterwards. All right, guys, Ben is here. I'm going to go see him. He's alive! He's alive! Bobbies. Hey, Bob. He's starting to get sore today, so. Poor Bob. He's working on the two guys. Ah, uh, for seatbelt. Let me see. I cut my finger open. How bad did you cut your finger open? It burns all up here. Let me come and look at your shoulder. That is absolutely insane. How fast are you going, you know? No, no, it's no. Dude, my glasses, bro. The the airbag. No, not the glasses. No, they're fine. Well, they're a little bent up, but like. Damn, we had another hundred thousand miles left on it. Here, I feel terrible, guys. I don't care about the problem. All right, guys, we're here with my brother, uh, the car crash survivor, and uh, I already told you guys what I heard from the stories, but I thought I'd have him sit down and uh, tell his actual side of the story because he was actually involved with this accident so yeah my brother i was driving on the uh, interstate and um i was in this lane and the lane was about to end it, it was a big yellow sign that said 500 feet the lane ends or whatever. so i was like, right, i'm just gonna go ahead and get over so as i'm getting over i looked in my mirrors didn't see a car but uh i did not check my blind spot and that's where i messed up and as I'm getting over, this big white SUV comes flying up beside me. And he honks the horn, and it's scared me. So then I, like, I feel like I didn't even swerve that hard. But I guess when you're going like 75 and just the slightest movement, the car is gonna skirt. So I did one of these numbers, and the car started sliding this way. And so I tried to turn it this way. And so, the car slides this way and then it slid this way and did one of these numbers and then like <clears throat> it goes zoom doom doom and then it started to like spin all the way around and as this is happening i'm like oh shoot i'm about to die because like i'm in this lane and then there's three other lanes over here and i'm just swerving into these lanes i'm like dude someone's gonna come up and just nail me like i'm so screwed but I did not get hit, there was no cars. I got very lucky on the interstate. And so, at that point, I'm staring at this wall. I'm like, well, <laughs> I, there's no not preventing this. I'm going to smack this wall going like 65 miles an hour. It's gonna be great. So I'm bracing for impact. So I'm just sitting there holding the steering wheel, like just staring at the wall. And then I literally hit head on into the, into the wall. And, um, what just happened? I'm like, not just distracted. <laughs> and I, I went head on into the wall. And then the airbag went. Pew, my glasses flew off my face. Everything just started going flying. The, there were like pieces inside the car that literally like flew off. And so I smacked the wall head on. And then my car like did one of these. And it like smacked the back end, smacked the wall. And then I was still spinning. So I went boom, boom, boom. And then I just kind of like rolled out in the middle of the interstate. And so I kind of just sat there for a second, like, what the hell just happened? I literally sat there for like a good two minutes. I was just like, <laughs> like looking around. I'm like checking myself. I'm like, I'm like, I thought I like, I broke my arm or something because my arm felt weird. But then I looked down and it was just this massive like red mark. It's kind of gone now, but I guess it was just from, from where the airbag just blew up and hit my arms. And as I'm just like sitting there, I look over to my left and there's just this officer just looking at me like I'm <laughs> sorry he looked like he, he was looking at me like I was a goof I'm just, just not sure looked at him he looks at me good yeah right. like he's like you driving too fast I was like uh-huh oh, yeah I guess <laughs> I, I, I just couldn't really speak and he was just like me a mess I was like I don't think so like I think I'm good and he was just asking me all kinds of questions and I asked him if I could get out of the car 
So then I got out of the car. And it was funny. <laughs> when I get out of the car, I just kind of, I like looked at the car. And it, dude, it was mangled. It's so bad. Also, things happen in five seconds. Like literally things change so fast. Like life is low-key precious AF, like straight up. Like I was just vibing to my music and then boom, I hit a wall. I'm like, oh. so. I guess this is a good time to uh, plug his music. So the music is right here. Benny P. Yeah, just drop a new song, Falling Deeper, you know, it's an absolute banger. Everyone's loving it, you know. It's really good. If we can get that song to blow up, like if it gets a million plays, boom, that's 10 Gs right there, brand new car. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, and I'm sure the viewers watching this video are glad that you're okay too. That's been the post interview with the car crash driver. Now back to your regular scheduled programming. Peace out, vlog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, me and my brother here are going to Me and my brother, we're going to go to Ball Rock. I'm going to take some pictures, get some footage for you guys, and uh, we might explore, we might not. We're going to do a little ghost adventure. We're going to take out the spirit box. <laughs> do some EVPs. <laughs> yeah, it's an hour drive, like I said earlier. So, I will see you guys when we get there. No graffiti, no litter, no alcohol, or drugs, no fireworks. All right, gentlemen, we are here. All right. Look at this. Oh my lord, it's so beautiful. Open spot right yes. there. Yes. Hey, because yeah. we barely could yeah, see yeah, Ball, Ball Rock. Or... Oh, really? Mm. Well, maybe it was this mountain we were. Yeah, maybe it was that mountain we right watched. Remember? After taking in the view of this amazing place. We're heading down to this uh, little gray site of cars. Um, I've been down here once, but it was really dark, so I didn't really see it that well. Oh, we can go around this way. But, uh, I'm in Sandals, Bears, and Chaco's. Well, mine actually got a decent amount of grip. I can feel the grip that rock Mine have no grip. So if I slip and fall, that's it for me. Because look how high that is. We just walked down that mountain, pretty much. Oh my gosh, this is so steep. I'm gonna fall, I already know it. Don't point that camera.
You see it? Yeah. That dude. You know how those cars got down there, right? Yeah, they were throwing off. They were throwing off, yeah. Let me see. Oh, well, there's a pathway right here. Yeah. See, I told you. Alright, guys, that means we are really close to this great side of calls. Look at my shoes, guys. <laughs> Whoa. This is pretty cool. Dude, there's more cars down here. Yeah, I'm telling you. They're everywhere. What? Heard a loud. Stop. Probably falling off the side of the cliff. Yeah, them boys are throwing rocks. Here we are. Now that looks satanic right there. It's just a crumpled up car, booger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a satanic symbol. Oh, it's a spider. Yeah. Wow. There it is. So I remember there was a V8 motor in here somewhere. That looks like an old Jeep. Oh yeah, there's an engine block right here. Oh my hope I don't get wow. down here. I say she's, she's I say she's in there pretty good. Yeah. That's rad, dude. That's in the entire car. That whole thing's a car. This is the front end right here. Just trying to figure out what it was. It's pretty good. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Cobweb right here, booger. Yeah, fuck that. You can get down there. I'll stay right here. <laughs> I'm what not going hell? all the way down there in the spider webs. We're gonna go around these spider webs, guys. It's too much for us. I wonder, what they, I wonder like, what, why they drove me up the cliff. I don't know. I just did it for like a silly prank or like a. Before this place was big. And they just forget to do this. What? They like for real, for real painted everything they could paint. Yes, sir. Here we go, guys. Here it is. That's a nice piece of paper. Aw, it's a little cute little baby V6. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Look, there's a, there's a lower control arm right there. Upper control arm. Uh, we're gonna make our way back up to the uh, car. Bear us have to take a quick pit stop at. Take a quick pit stop at the house so we can do business. And then uh, we're gonna head on to bricks. My calves are dying. <sighs> Guess what? Mama didn't raise a bitch. <sighs> Mama raised a bitch. Wow. What? Look at the pump. Look at the pump, guys. Wow, look at them calf muscles. Right, keep on going. Right, one last look. All right, let's go. All right, so we are back home. Such a long drive out in the middle of nowhere. It is only 9.30, so um, after my buddy gets done watching uh, that new Barbie movie with his girlfriend. Then we're gonna hit the bricks and uh, have a good time in there. So we see, we're here at bricks. We're going to look at this cool Supra. Mainly it's for Booger. He wants to see the Supra. I'm not a big fan of them. Dude, I think they're sweet little cars, man. Like, if I got a sports car, I think I will get a Supra. I like this guy. Yeah, but like, look how they're stacked. Steering wheels are racing. I like steering wheels. They got tech. They got the carbon fiber, uh, and, uh, hey. they have the carbon fiber package too. It's like $400 per one. Alright. Sitting at the end. It's a small We here. You gotta keep scooping.
All right, guys, I'm in the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you guys stay up to date on all my videos. And to the next one, peace.